Hello, my name is Kelly Bluen. I am a certified Zen Tango teacher. Welcome to our 24 day Christmas countdown. In these videos, we will do a little bit of a Zen Tango method of drawing, but we will also be doing just mostly some doodling and some little journal entries and just kind of having fun. So thank you so much for joining me for this fun little adventure. Here's my little book that I'm drawing in. I just made it with some folded um, printer paper. The instructions for this are on video number one, or just feel free to doodle on whatever you have around your home. I've also got some gel pens. I've got a pen for um, drawing and a pencil for doing some sketching. All right, so we are on day 12, I think. My goodness. That means we're halfway, halfway to Christmas. 12 more shopping days. So here's all of our fun little pages so far. Yesterday was our scroll with our favorite things. All right, and today I'm gonna do one that I, I did before um, I, on one of my 15 minutes of Zen videos last year, but it's, um, it's Tangled Christmas Lights. And if you have ever put Christmas lights on a tree or you've hung lights out, in a garden or a patio, often the lights are in a big knotted mess. So this is just kind of a fun little thing that says, I'm fine, everything is fine. And it just sums up for me some of those moments around the holidays, even if my lights are not tangled this year. Maybe they are, I don't know. But you know, there's those moments where you're just like so frantic and sometimes you just have to either put those things away and move on with your life or just try to untangle the mess that it is. So um, that's what we're going to do today. So I'm going to start by picking up my pencil and I'm just going to make, I'm going to go in a little ways, but I'm going to very lightly draw a frame inside this page. Just like that. I'm not worried about it being too straight or fancy or anything. And now I'm gonna put a scribble in the middle. And so to do this, I'm going to start right here. And then I'm just gonna kind of slowly make a scribble pattern. I'm going to let my line end somewhere. So we don't want our scribble to be too tiny. We need to fit Christmas lights on here. So just kind of spread it out, make it however you want. And then I'm going to take my pen. I'm not going to trace the frame right now, but I am going to trace my pencil lines. I feel like as I've gotten older, I've become better at putting my lights away in an organized fashion, but still, like I wrap them around some clever little plastic thing and then next year I go to pull them off and if I don't pull at the exact right spot, it tangles everything and it really is the most frustrating thing. Okay, so we traced our little tangle. So up here at the top of the frame, I'm going to write I'm fine, dot, 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 or ellipses. I'm fine, and then down here I'm gonna write everything is fine. And it's just kind of that feeling sometimes when someone says, how are you today at work or at home or whatever? And your answer is, I'm fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. And in the back of your mind, you're like, it's not fine. I've got laundry to do and shopping to do and or cookies to bake or whatever's going on in life. And we still put on that nice smile of I'm fine. Everything is fine. Okay. And then I'm going to ink in 
the frame, but to do that, I'm going to, I'm gonna go along the top and then I'm just gonna add like a little loop here and there, just to kind of be like part of our lights. I probably shouldn't have gone over my letter, but too late now. And then on one end of my string, I'm going to make it a cute little plug, just a square with some prongs. And then my other one is going to be that kind of oblong end with the little, little holes in it. And now we just get to kind of relax and play a little bit. So I'm just going to start putting in little rectangles and I'm not going back and forth or back and forth I'm not even trying to spread them out you know evenly on my page just putting them in wherever I feel like because we definitely don't want to add stress to our day And I like doing all of these first because then I'm not worried about the shape of my bulbs right now. I'm just enjoying the repetitiveness of putting in these little shapes that are easy to make. And the more you make, the more you're going to have to draw of bulbs. So it's up to you how detailed you want it. You can even put some along your frame if you would like. And then once you have all of those done, we're gonna start drawing the bulbs. So I like making those, um, you know, kind of like the, the classic bulbs from the 70s, which are just like an upside down egg. They're wider at the bottom, a little narrower at the top. Of course, yours can be any kind of bulb you want. Yours can be circles. Yours can be those pointy ones that had the little lines in them. Remember those from the 70s and 80s? And then you are going along, if you see a spot that looks kind of empty, go ahead and add another one. The other frustrating thing with lights is that if one goes out, half of your strand goes out. I think they're getting better at making them that don't do that, but I feel like so often I open mine up and only half of them work. Or you buy a pre-lit tree and that works for a year or two and then those go out. Now, it's okay if your lights 
overlap. They bump into each other a little bit because in the reality of twisted lights, that happens all the time. Just take a second to loosen your hand, loosen your grip on your pen. If you've got a good pen, you should not have to push down very hard to make the ink work. Mine definitely don't all match. I've got different sizes going on. I've got different shapes of eggs and ovals. That's okay. That looks pretty cool, you guys. I like it. All right, I tend to draw faster than most people, so you can pause it here if you need to finish yours. But I'm gonna take my little goldish, yellowish gel pen I have, and I'm gonna add some little sparkles of light around the bulbs. Maybe not every bulb. but definitely a lot of them. All right. And then we can just start coloring in the lights. So I'm gonna grab a couple more colors. I've got a blue pen. I think I've got a purple and a pink one. Let's we'll see if we wanna use those colors or not. I'm not sure yet. I'm just gonna pick up one color to start. And I'm just going to use that color on a whole bunch of lights. switch colors. So I'm one of those people that really likes just the most color possible on a tree. I have, I don't know, four or five strands of lights and they're all different shapes and sizes and all colorful and they twinkle and shine and have all those fun little settings. And this year, for the first time ever, I let my daughter make the decision on the lights and she wanted to go out shopping and buy all white lights. So they all match, they're all the same, they're all white. And um, it actually looks beautiful. Kind of miss the gaudy, but they look nice. And then we got a kitten just before Christmas in um, late October. And she loves to climb the tree and knock over. We don't have all the ornaments on yet because um, we'll probably put them on like a day or two before Christmas just because she will knock them off. We know she will. So we're trying to keep her out of the tree, but um, she loves to climb it. So every morning our lights that looked so perfect are just like a little off. Um, the bottom row was just dangling. Oh goodness, pets. But the white does look really nice. All right, switching colors again. And 
I don't know if we should color in the, maybe color those black, the little sockets that the lights plug into. I didn't think about that. that and see how that looks yeah I kind of like that coloring in those little rectangles maybe you just want to add kind of like a little zigzag in there to give the illusion of that sort of um you know like that little metal spinny part I don't know I'm not good with words <laughs> but they can be fully colored in, or they can just have this little bit of lines. Either one. It's like an I Spy book. How many can I find? Did I miss any? I think I got them all. Go back to my green, which is I think gonna be my last color of lights. I found four, five all the little bases that I missed. Oh my goodness, six, seven. Isn't that funny? I was certain I got every single one and then I found seven more. <gasps> Another one. All right, this page looks pretty cool, you guys. All right, I love that. Now the only other thing that you could do is if you have a pencil and any kind of like a blending tool, you could use a Q-tip or um, the corner of a tissue, you could put some graphite around the inside of that frame, and I'm doing it very sloppy. Just add a little bit of graphite and then take that blending tool and kind of soften it and pull it out towards the middle and that just sort of gives it very slightly a darker area in the middle and I think it makes those lights kind of look a little bit brighter. Add some, following some of your strings. Maybe you still have your pencil on there like I do. You can just soften some of those pencil lines. Okay, see how that kind of makes them look like they're lighting up a dark area? I don't know, I think that's kind of cute. So I'm fine, everything is fine. And we'll put the date, December. Well, we're halfway there, you guys. 12 more days and um, 12 more days of shopping, 12 more days of deep breaths, and um, we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye-bye.